Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Robert Kelly, a.k.a. the dude, a.k.a. the king of Zoom. Thanks for checking out the Calter and Kelly YouTube page. We hope you like what we're putting up there. Make sure you go to patreon.com slash Robert Kelly and sign up over there because every week we put a show, an extra show, Friday show, only Patreon. And we also have the J.O. party on Saturday night, only Patreon. That means you, all the fans, get to come into a Zoom and hang out with us and all the other ladybugs. And uh, it's it's a blast. So we also let you watch all the shows live. YKWD live. All the Calter and Kelly's live. Unedited. All go on the Patreon. And you also get the 10-minute extra YKWD every week goes on there, along with Live from the Shed, one-on-ones, Tech Talk with Bobby and Friends. There's so much content up there. And you know what? It's all for what? A price of a cup of coffee. Five bucks gets you in the door. And uh, you're going to love it. So make sure you go over there, patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. And here's another little thing I want you to do. If you like this content we're putting up, subscribe and like. That's it. Just hit the little button, subscribe, so you know when we got a new show out. And then like it, so we know you like what we're doing, okay? That's it. Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Subscribe and like. Now, enjoy the show. This is the comedy event you've been waiting for. Put it down, you fat bastard! Comedian Robert Kelly will be performing live in front of an audience and streaming it right to your living room. <laughs> you're, you're old as shit because you, cause your hair is feathered. January 30th, 2021. Robert Kelly from Comedy Central, Netflix, and HBO will be doing his hilarious, crude, but vulnerable stand-up live from the Wall Street Theater and streaming it around the world right to you. Robert Kelly live stream pay-per-view from the Wall Street Theater, January 30th, 2021. What's up, man? Uh, how you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty good. How are you doing? I'm fucking pissed, man. I'm fucking bullshit. What are you so pissed about? Oh. It's cuz, man. It's just look, Fox crazy. is live at the Louvre. <laughs> it's fucking. This is crazy, man. Fucking crazy, Mike. It's just getting out of hand. Oh. Now my fucking. I ordered at Amazon this battery for the GoPro, and it was supposed to be a three batteries original GoPro. It's from China. Uh, everything's from China, a, buddy. I mean, geez, what else could go wrong today? Uh, no, everything else seems fine. Hmm. Not much happened yeah. in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Rich Voss, the legend, the Lord. Uh, Rich Voss. Why? Why are you not sitting in front of your four plaques five plaques on your wall oh I'll, I'll do that later i'll bring it down uh you know you say you're so upset i thought you were going to talk about you can't handle you know what's going on in dc i didn't know it had to do with a battery uh <laughs> you know i mean i get upset too when i'm waiting on something to come in the mail and when there's also a revolution i usually i usually get more upset about the mail thing you know i am i'm fucking much more upset yeah yeah why don't you storm the post office with your red hat? Nobody <laughs> 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 oh, cares about your stupid batteries and your technology. We're they all should have opened fire on those idiots today. Those are your people. No, they're not my people. I have nothing to do with those assholes. Aren't they Trump Trumpies? Yeah, I voted for Trump, but I'm not one of these fucking assholes that's going to try and overthrow the government because I didn't get my way. Yeah, <laughs> That's such the problem with fucking, you know, with uh, far left people like Rich. I'm not far uh, left, you fucking. Yeah, you are. Look at those paintings behind you. Yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> you're Listen. far left. You're you're side queer and far far left. Please, let me tell but you. I, you just can't say somebody because somebody's not. You can't just sum somebody up either. You're left or right. It's just stupid. 
You know, yeah. I don't agree with. I, I mean, listen, man, Mike, you don't agree with all the shits going on. I don't agree with any of it. There's hey, a process, listen. and the process is what it is, and it didn't work out in his favor. And he's being a whiny little baby cunt who will never have to face any of the consequences. So instead, he's having these lunatic uh, followers go out there and put their lives on the line and endanger the lives of other people. And now somebody's already been shot. And these fucking idiots are disgracing Capitol Hill. It's making us look like fucking assholes. I wouldn't be surprised if another country tomorrow was like, fucking bomb those assholes. How come he doesn't go on fucking anywhere and go stop this? This is He did. He uh, did. In typical okay. Trump fashion, he issued a recorded statement in which he backhandedly told him to stop. He's like, they stole the election from us. They don't want this to happen. Blah, blah, blah. Now go home. And we're like, basically, he just fucking fired him up even more. Yeah. But that was go home after it was all happening. Didn't, was, they, didn't they march from one place to another? He the told country? them. He encouraged them to go down there and 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 uh, have I mean, this thing that he went out and spoke out for an hour and a half, and then he was like, "It's over there." Can, can we can we be real though? I mean, look, I'm not. I agree with you, Mike, but the other side did the same shit back with yeah. Antifa but and the, fucking what makes Black Lives people. Matter. They said, you know, go out in the streets and you yeah. see somebody, a Republican, you fucking get in their face and you don't let them be comfortable. And they well, said the same shit. The same politicians that are fucking like what this is yeah, the same same shit. And the news did the same shit. They called all those fucking protests peaceful protests. And your, your buildings are on fire. The people are fucking dying. So both sides, both fucking far both sides are fucking dumb. Yeah, but the only difference, and I agree with you hundred percent, both sides, like I've said this a million times. Both sides have been hijacked. Or, or are they are they dumb or are we lazy? No, both sides have been hijacked. Should we be out there fucking doing something. Both sides have been hijacked by extremists. <laughs> the only difference is the president has a, a a bigger and stronger voice than all these governors and mayors or whatever are saying go out and protest on the left. Oh, so you know I if, if, no, you, if, you're absolutely wrong. No, yeah. no, no. If if you're absolutely wrong, dude. You're wrong. It's, it's the same cult and leader Schumer problem. And all those fucking uh the all those fucking senators and they all had a huge they they nobody on the left listened to Trump. No, no, no. He said we should but, stop. But, Do you think they listened? Was shoot no listen, and I'm I'm asking you this. Was okay. Schumer, Pelosi, any of them going to Antifa go out and what are they saying? Go out and protest. So what here's what's happening. So George Soros, who is funding the Democratic yes. Party and the and the extreme left, yes. is is allowing is is funding these riots. They're busing people in. They're leaving bricks. They're doing all this shit. And that's all. All those left side people know this. But look, I, I'm not blaming them either. The people who are rioting are the fucking idiots because yeah. you're letting them. You go out and fight this war for you. These these mindless fucking morons who will do whatever their leader tells them to do. And then they kill each other. And these fat cats are sitting fucking home with their feet up on, on the couch in their million dollar houses. Going oh well, I guess that. Yeah, well, CNN, right. and, well, when you CNN and Fox cat. News are jerking <laughs> off. The, if CNN and Fox News are jerking off because they get to get ratings for another day. Yeah, everybody's watching the fucking news. The left is watching fucking CNN. The right's watching Fox. And yeah, and it's true. Listen, you know, these people are sitting there going, can you believe these assholes? Fucking the far left took over Seattle. They yeah. took over a town and they executed, they executed people in the street. I mean, let's not be fucking stupid right now. It's yeah. the same shit. Well, listen, out of all this, what the two things that get me is one, that he used the term "fat cat." Uh, I didn't know. I, was, I didn't know I was doing a beatnik podcast. Uh, <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo. Uh, and the other thing, out of all this, what really upset? Well, I knew you fucking wearing a beatnik fucking hat is going to call okay. me out for saying okay. "fat cat." Right. Yeah. Re relax, beep bop bop. And uh, what really gets me <laughs> is, is I can't wear a fucking red hat again. That's all I care about. I have a nice Cardinals hat. I hope it changes yeah. to red boots too. So you, you and Red Durst are fucked. Who? Oh. I hope it turns to red <laughs> boots too. So you can't wear those stupid Timberlands. <laughs> listen, listen to Mike in the background laughing. I guess Calta books a club now. 
Uh, I was laughing at you. <laughs> What's that? Oh, you were laughing at me? Yeah. Oh, That's yeah, shocking. <laughs> he was laughing at the thought of you in a red hat is what he was laughing at. Uh, oh, and that quiet. And, and you really made you really made Mike laugh because he when he really finds something funny, he almost dies. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. We'll I you. think uh kind of like this conversation. It's so funny when a bunch of fucking jackasses talk politics. Uh, you know what? Can I stop you right there? I'm getting so sick of people saying, you know, you're I fucking know. You can't no. talk you can't do who gives a fuck. I know we can talk. It's our opinion. Come here for a second. Take my check. Why do you guys, do your kids, Bobby, does your kid, kid go into your room and take shit out of your room? Absolutely. Like, yes. Oh, our they kid do? Has no respect for her. Yeah, her, absolutely. Her. Yeah. Oh, here's Bo Bonnie's the big winner. Bonnie, hey. Uh, oh, thin oh, thin lips. Bonnie's big it, winner. Thin oh, lips? Thin lips? Is that what he calls me? He called you thin lips? <laughs> <laughs> Still texting, just a little thin on the lips. Keep my name out of your thin lips. Uh, hey, Don, can you please go play the pow the Mega Millions in the Powerball so I can get out of this cold shed and move to Florida <laughs> so me and Mike can do this just live? Give me, my flash. It's Give me tonight. A can you just go play it? Go in the car with Max. I forgot. Can you Rainbow. go? I need to get out of here. Rich, All right. <laughs> what? I love you. Bye. If I if Play I a hundred dollars, bye. If I win the Powerball, what's that? Let go. If I win the Powerball tonight, I'm stroking you a million dollar check tomorrow. Who to me? Yes. Yeah, but no, don't give it to him half for free. It, half of it has to go to Bonnie's lips. <laughs> <laughs> but he, ha he has to give you all his paintings too. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no, you have to destroy them in front of me. I no, 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 touched. Mike. Please just get them, and we'll do, we'll take care of that. Right. Oh, I I'm gonna paint all of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna paint original Bobbies over all the. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't touched Bonnie's lips in months. Or kissed her. <laughs> you don't kiss your wife. Yeah, we we kissed the other night. Like make out or just. Why do no, you keep don't. looking over your shoulder like she's going to stab you? I with her lips. Fist in my mouth. What's that? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> come here. I'm gonna come on camera. Bonnie won best album on Intero Bang. No um, way. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you? It's, it's really a good album. Uh, bird no, call. I mean, that's, I didn't mean it like that. I meant that that's great. I was a. That's, that's why she called it Bird Calls because she has the same lips as most birds. Did she beat Sorry. Adrian Appalucci again? What do you mean again? I'm kidding. That's Bonnie's first album. Let me see. What do you, what do you want to see? Bonnie? Show, Bonnie, show Bonnie's thin lips so we can see how hard it is for her to use a straw. Bonnie doesn't have thin lips. She has nice lips. Look at those lips. Oh, yeah. They don't look so thin anymore. Uh, yeah, look at those. Take Bonnie, this yeah. Look at those lips. Bonnie, Bonnie, your album one? What, yeah. what are you, a koi yeah, fish? Great. Are you excited? Yes, it feels good what? to win. What did you get? I have nothing. <laughs> we, you get, we, nothing. We, should, we should get Bonnie a trophy. The adoration yes. of thousands. It's the first thing I've ever won. You won. You won me as your husband. You were. Yeah. You don't never even know. What? You were a consolation prize. <laughs> <laughs> she was pulling for Why don't you give her one of those paintings as a trophy so she can throw it out? <laughs> Don't touch. Don't stop. Don't. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you two million dollars if you bring it right Bonnie, out. I, Bonnie, I, if you pull, God. if you pulled that painting on the wall, money just started shooting out of the wall. <laughs> I want to Bonnie, sma please smash it. Please smash it. I couldn't get uh, Alex Voss, who's the only person who cared about if I won or not, and um, told me to retweet it, which I did not do. But thank you. <laughs> If you smash that over his head, you'll be a real winner. If you smash it over his head and I win Powerball, I'll give you $2 million. If I smash it over his head, it's not going to be on camera. What am I going to do? Oh. I, I, would you really give Voss a million dollars if you win tonight? If I if I took home $272 million for all the times this guy got on this stupid podcast, yes, I would give him $1 million. That's locked in. That's locked in? What do you mean that's locked in? He's saying uh, on camera. Well, I got I, it on. I take his word for it. Second Look at me. Boss. I will gladly write you that check, Richard. Okay. Voss, I will give you a million and ten dollars. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm out. 
I would, if I win, <laughs> I'll give you both a million dollars never to ask me to do this again. Perfect. <laughs> you ask us, you ask to be on it. All right. <laughs> Stupid. Don't ruin the joke, dummy. I oh, love no, doing sorry, that. Sorry, I I, My self esteem was at stake. <laughs> <laughs> what? When you woke up this morning? I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> You're a fucking loser. I hate I, those uh, paintings. You hate, I love my paintings. Uh, so Shane uh, Gillis winners. I'm sorry. Oh. Shane, who, won? who won? Shane Gillis? Colin Quinn oh, no, won no. what? Uh, Stand up comedian of the year and his book won comedy book of the year. Well, there's only one book out. Yeah, Seinfeld didn't write a book this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was there was there any did I win anything, Mike? I'll let me go through it. Okay. See, Bonnie won comedy Bonnie album. Bird calls. Then Shits Creek, Creek television series of the year. I see, I'm telling you, that was a hit. It was a hit up to the third season. I like it. I'm still into it. Mm. Mark Norman won special of the year. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Is that special it? Kid, yeah. Special kid of the That's year. That's all the big ones. Special kid of the year. Was it how about comedy tour of the year? Did anybody how win that? Podcast. Well, that no one toured last year. So what? I toured. We toured. No, it yeah, ended we, before it really got to get uh, started, Bobby. We uh, we, and I who won comedy album of the year 2016 and 2019? Who won last year? Comedy album. I don't know. Right. Don't know. Uh Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> it was yeah. uh and, oh Rich Voss. And Mitch Fatel. Uh, I think oh, Fat J C has a, the right response. Uh who's it? Yeah. That's right. I think it's a it's puff peach time. <laughs> uh, now I want puff pastry. I don't know why. <laughs> Joe List special was funnier. <laughs> then what? Mark Norman? Boss won guest of the year on the Calter and Kelly show. <laughs> <laughs> who would who would have won guest of the year? Who would have been our best guest so far? I mean, Voss would win most it's reliable, third micer and all that stuff. But who would win most best guest? I I would say Voss would be up there because no, but I don't I don't consider Voss to be he's like part of the show. You know what I mean? I mean like a guy that we had on once or twice maybe. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Can Bonnie, I say something? Bonnie's Bonnie, appearance, Bonnie, when you were in Urkel. here, when you were in here, Bonnie's appearance last time was the funniest fucking thing ever. Yes, I would say Bonnie, take another painting off the wall. <laughs> you win. Best guest of the <laughs> Don't knock that one. Take, that take another one. <laughs> my grandmother's. You're such a baby. You're such a baby. Oh, wow. Thank you, everyone, for my. This year is really starting to turn out pretty good. That's, that's, a, that's like an old Sasparilla ad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, make sure it goes on the uh, the wire. <laughs> the buyer, you're such an old asshole. Just she knows how to hang a thing up. <laughs> oh my god, that was my grandmother's. That's a beautiful picture. It's not yet. It's not a beautiful picture. Oh, you want to see it close? Hold on. I do not. Oh god. Yes, I'm you got this one's on the other side of the room. Let me see. What is it? That's it. Oh, try this. Go closer. I can't see it. Hold on. I, I will. Why I is, it looks like a painting with a light on the ceiling. That's your grandmother trying to tell you guys she's a lesbian. <laughs> uh, <sighs> I remember the first time I had sex with my grandmother. I thought I was watching her. <laughs> it's an old, you know what? Go fuck yourself. I can't take you. <laughs> Hold on. Let me put the, the spotlight on me. Crumbum so, <laughs> said the best mug shot was Chad Zuma. <laughs> so I, I got Shane Gillis was supposed to be here this weekend and he canceled today. So they put Kevin Brennan in his place. And I'm filling in for Kevin Brennan on Saturday where he was. Oh, really? But yeah. I got I got Brian Cowan coming in tomorrow, so I can't have Kevin or Friday because I can't have Kevin on. Why well, have them both on? I don't know, dude. Where, where's dude, Brian Cowan? <laughs> Far if like you, counties away, it won't be in competition. If you, I mean, the fact that you're not going to have them both on is just ridiculous. No, I That's would. Right. I wanted to ask you guys because I don't know. Because does that like yeah, Brian's not all, fine? Not Brian all comedians are cool like that. And and the Callan's like a Hollywood guy now. So Brian's fine. 
this is what you do. You have Brennan on first and somehow go, so what do you think of all these Me Too's and say, what do you think of Brian Callen? And when he starts smashing Brian Callen and you bring Brian Callen. No, don't do that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Kevin, Kevin Brennan and Brian Callen would be a great show. All right. I, then that's all I needed to know. Rich, if I hadn't you booked on the show and then you got here and some comedian that you didn't really know was coming in, you wouldn't be like, what the fuck is this? No, I don't care when other comics come in because one, it gives me, uh, you know, if I I can either smash them or get along with them or, it See, doesn't, that's, and that's good radio. But some guy like Lisa Lampanelli wouldn't come in the studio once because Bert was there. Really? But why? She left, and we ended up getting in a big fight about it. And then she had to she had to apologize. And well, she why why she why? Because she was she, in here. It was she was in good shape. It was a long while, a long time ago. But she knew that. She, Bert had been like guest hosting the show for a couple of days. He wasn't there like to promote anything, and she got there and she freaked out. She thought we were going to gang up on her, and, and she and she left. That's weird. Yeah, it was weird because we had a weird. relationship with her. She'd been on the show a shit ton of times, like before she was famous. She couldn't even sell it side splitters when we used to have her on the show. What do you mean gang up on her? How like like just verbally abuse her? I, so she said to me when we finally made up, she's like, "Look, Man Cow had me on the show and then brought another comedian on." And all they did was shit on me for the rest of the show. Fucking man, oh, how, how can you get a word in edgewise? That yeah. fucking guy. But I said, that, I go, listen, I go, I've known you since before you really made it big. And I've been nothing but a fan of yours. And Bert was co-hosting. He wasn't promoting a gig. And and she eventually apologized, but not before I spent a year of telling everybody that Joe Barnick writes all her jokes. And Joe is like, hey, man, can you chill out on that? Because that's a good paycheck. Wait, what did Joe, Joe Barnick, Barnick write all her jokes? At the time, wow! Wait, what happened? So Joe, so people were when we had the fight with Lampanelli. So hey, she went for a second, Mike. Now you're gonna send Voss in a spiral about this. So Why? Good job. Okay, good. Well, that's what I'm here for. So she, we had all these other comics who hated Lisa Lampanelli come out after us, going, "Good, finally somebody told her to fuck off." And then they started being like, "She doesn't even write her own jokes." Joe Bartnick's writing all her funny shit, and we were like, "Who the hell is Joe Bartnick?" And then we found out and we tried to get Joe on the show and Joe was like, no, I got to lay low, man. This is my good. This is a good paying gig. And then years later, I met Joe and became friends with him. And I was like, yeah, we didn't mean to bust your gig, you know, but he's a cool dude. He's a Joe's guy. great. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's very cool. He's very funny. And he's happy just writing the fucking jokes. You know, he's good. He's happy being that guy. Well, she doesn't do comedy anymore. Anyhow, no, she's, she's probably rich as fuck, right? No, because she yeah. can't do her act anymore because the world fucking changed and yeah. saying you're a spick and a fag and a queer uh -huh. and a fucking uh, whatever black guy. I don't know it's colored. You can't say anymore unless you're Rich Voss. I, I don't, don't say that stuff with my window rolled down. <laughs> <laughs> she So one time she was on the show, we had a hurricane <laughs> and, and all of our radio stations were in class A flood zones. So they had to combine some of the things. So my station and was a country station at the time, and the hip hop station went on the same shows. The, the same morning show went on together on both stations, and it was just me and a bunch of black dudes. And Lisa Lampanelli called into the show in the heyday of her career, and it just smashing all these black guys. I'm just sitting there like this. <laughs> it was they good. It was, yeah, they loved it. I mean, she yeah, was because, funny. Yeah, they, they're not black. Black audiences aren't as uptight as white audiences. No, they're not at all. No, they loved it. They loved it. I thought she was funny, and they ended up having her on after that. I had a black girl booing me once. She was about 500 pounds, and she was booing because I was trash and sharpening. I was doing an urban room. She started booing, right? I go, bitch, you should be mooing, not booing. And, and the crowd went fucking nuts. <laughs> the crowd went nuts, and I went, good night. Thank you. I, 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 see you later. Uh, <laughs> You know, if I sit out in a white crowd in a white audience, oh, uh, ooh, uh, no, you know. no, they would have walked her out of the room. The manager would have gave her free tickets to fucking some yeah. fucking puppet show to the Cheesecake and, uh, Factory. Yeah. <laughs> it's just whatever. I just like Voss told a girl one time a heckler. Voss told her uh, she thought she was hot. He goes, "If you think you're hot, let me come over here and see you." And she walks up front and he goes, "Do you think you're hot?" He goes, late at night, if it was between you and the solo flex guy, I would jerk off to the solo flex guy. <laughs> I used to love him. Dude, that was like 20 years ago, and I still remember that shit. That was great. Voss is going to be at uh, Soul Joe's when? This Saturday. Saturday night, he's filling in, I guess, for Kevin Brennan. Yeah. Saturday night, Soul Joe's in, where is it? Regabug, Pennsylvania? 
I don't know, but I lost helium over it. I didn't realize. Why? Well, because I didn't realize it. They're like 45 miles apart. And I was at helium in like two weeks. But I don't care because I don't want to go. I'd rather do helium when it gets warm anyhow. You know. You'd uh, rather so, do helium in, in the worst months to do a comedy club? I Listen to me. It's and Philly's an hour from my house. Yeah. So. You know, it, what, what I, is it, is it getting any better? Because I, I booked a trip for to New Orleans next weekend and I had to cancel it today because I found out New Orleans is going in lockdown again. Yeah, is it getting any better? No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, no. I mean, Vinny, I'm at Vinny's room in a couple of weeks, which is outside in the tent, you know, and that's probably the best. Uh, and I guess this soul shows out in the tent. Nobody Roy wants to Ford, Roy or is for Ford. Pennsylvania, excuse me. I sound like yeah. that old fucking drunk guy on the roast. Roy, Roy is for it. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Ross, 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 Ross. Um, Rich Ross. Brooks. <laughs> Roy is Roy is for Ford, Pennsylvania. Uh, this Saturday night, Voss will be uh, kicking butt at the uh, Soul Joe's. I'm going to no, be there the 23rd. Like I'll be there the 23rd. <laughs> I'll be kicking ass. I'll be kicking some more ass. Yo, you're damn straight. <laughs> yeah. You kick major ass. Me and Bobby went on stage together a couple of weeks ago. We had a good time at Uncle Vinny's. I heard. I heard that was great. Yeah, I, I want to. I really want to come up for your uh, for your special thing. So you come up. What? Why do you keep asking me for? You you know you come up. Uh, I, house? I wasn't really asking you. I was so you just, get tickets. You know, I'm Are you? Fucking, I'm yes, I was joking. You think I'm? I'm gonna. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to see if I should if I should like bring my son with me or if I should come solo if I just jump in and out. Or if you're going to be like on the side, like, don't come to that shit. Don't ever do. Doesn't your wife, I, does your wife still I, have I, relatives I, up here in North Plainfield? No. Everybody escaped. Oh. I can't tell you, Mike, if it's going to be good. I can't tell you what gig's going to be good, what gig's going to be bad. Back in the day, I could tell you how many tickets, how, if it's going to be good. This this yeah. is a, a, a theater that's seating 100 people. I don't know how far out they're going to be spread. I know it's going to be, I, I, I don't even know what the fuck set I'm doing right now. I got to work that out at the end of this week. And then I got the Soul Joes the week before, which I'm going to work out that set. And then I'm just going to go wail out this set, and it's going live around the world. I, I don't know how many tickets I'm selling. I don't know what the fuck's going on, dude. Hey, is anybody hey, with listen, you? The bottom line is you're going to I be need good. to really. You're going to be good. You're going to be good because when you did that outdoor b- baseball stadium with Bennington, uh, you were far away from the audience, and you still killed, you know. So it does. Yeah. You're, you're going to do fine. And however it's set up, it really doesn't matter because it's being streamed and the people at home are, you're playing to the people really at home. No, I know, but that's the important part is how many people are going to buy it, you know, around, uh, you know, uh, at home. If I sell, if I sell 300 pay-per-views, I I probably should quit the business. Well, you're saying, you said it's all over the world. I can't, I guarantee in Belgium and Portugal, you'll fucking sell 300, you know. I mean, you're probably a big act in Denmark. So around the world, and obviously in China, because they think they're fucking paying to see Buddha. So you'll yeah. do well there. You're gonna Okinawa. do well. There. I got greedy. <laughs> yeah, you got greedy, but I knew it was coming too. I just Did felt you? It. sorry. Yeah. Anything, any compliment from you is coming from a fucking slap in the face. No, no, no. Say- I said you're gonna kill me either way. And I mean that. I know that. You wanna you wanna come and and host it, right? I wanted to open, yeah, just to hang out and, and I'm go. out. But, uh, you know, I, I, I would have. I'm out. I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to share my friendship. Yeah, I, I, listen. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, Bobby can handle us hanging out. We let Mike's Okinawa riff go by without. <laughs> it's all right. What do you say? Uh, Why do you share a picture of all these Asian people? That's that's Bobby's real father, the one on the left, Sato. <laughs> it's not my real father. Yes, it is. I, I have wait, a, wait, a. You do twenty three and me. I'm doing my twenty three and me. Let's ask Voss. What do you think I am? What's my nationality mostly? Uh, Italian and Irish. No okay. way. Is that your? No is that way. your? Bet? I would say I have twenty three and me, but I'm too scared to do it. I they bought it for me two years ago. I won't do it. Why? Uh, Why? What are you? What are you afraid of? Because he's gonna find that he's not Jewish, and this is all a scam. <laughs> I'm gonna find. <laughs> oh, I, I just 
Uh, I think you know, you're, he's not Jewish, and then he can spend that cash under his bed finally. Oh boy, take drink your dish your tell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What is it, the 23rd, Bob? No, I'm the 30th at uh, the pay per view at Wall Street Theater. 23rd is, is, is Soul Joel's. Oh, All right, but so. where, where's the Wall Street Theater? What's that? Is that in Connecticut, the theater? The theater is in Connecticut, the Wall Street Theater in Norwalk, Connecticut. Oh. It's oh, a hard word to say, isn't it? Norwalk. Norwalk. <laughs> no. No, who's a, who, who are you bring it to open? Hey, can I ask you a question? Yes, me and I think it's more towards Calta than Voss. Okay, me and my kid were fucking, you know, screwing around today, you know, play fighting, and then he walked up and just kicked me in the nuts. Yeah, and I mean, really, I almost threw up. Yeah. And I told you what to do a long time ago, and you don't want to take my advice. What is it? Punch him hard. It's the only way he's going to know that getting hit in the nuts really hurts, and he can't do that shit. You got to fucking drill him right in the chest. Yeah. Also, never say that sentence again on the internet. <laughs> Dude, I've said so many things that people put on YouTube out of context and make me sound super gay. Oh, Dude, I'm telling you, the kicks you in the nuts, and you punch him right in the chest, or you flick him in the cheek until he, until he cries. Yeah, one time my daughter, older daughter kicked me in the nuts and I fucking came like a jackrabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you I'm glad you uh, clarified it was your oldest daughter or that would have been I great. know, that's why I make sure. <laughs> All right, listen, here we go. Uh, fucking Terry Lyle is uh, <laughs> being very passive aggressive right now. Hey, Mush, do you have the show stickers? What's that? Uh, no, Mike has the show stickers. What? Yes. Mike, can you please send Mike the show, mush the show stickers, so he can mail them out to the people that are supposed to get them. Uh, uh you gave them to Austin. Then Austin gave him the Joey, and uh, I had asked you about. Why anyway, we'll talk about off the air. Austin is on the list. Why would you give him the Austin? What are you doing? That's, he's asking you that, Mush. Can we? I didn't give him the Austin. <laughs> I thought that was Bonnie. Um, <laughs> my God, she looks just like Bonnie. What? Um, she looks nothing like you. That's why I don't do 23 and me. <laughs> hey, Mike, can you send them to uh, Mush? Oh, yeah, I got them. I got to find them. Take no, come yeah. on. I'll just order more. Say Bonnie. Yeah. Say yeah. We'll, we'll coordinate that, off, off the air, and we'll get that taken care of for everybody. Is that Bonnie? No, yeah. that, that's Rainer. She has <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a house full of prop acts. <laughs> Is it? Do you find it funny that comics, uh, a lot of comics on Instagram, like are doing these things where they're wearing wigs and stuff on their heads and they're doing all kinds of outrageous shit uh, on this on their social media? I don't really watch it. Oh, you really don't. You ne you've never liked anything of mine. Oh no no! Are, are you crazy? I like I like the story about you getting kicked in the nuts. That was a good story. Uh, was, I just told you that. Oh, well, so come back to me in a week. Uh, I I just don't sit on Instagram like like Bonnie watches it all night long. I don't know. I got a new TV show with seven seasons, so I got a lot of fucking TV to watch. I, uh, Which one? What are you watching? Madam, Madam Secretary. Oh God! You watch a war shit. But I love no, because the lead actress, uh, Taylor Leone. Oh, she's the best. Yeah. Yeah, like twenty years ago, she was hot. Now she's just like an old washed up thing. I don't care. I've never liked her since she fucking cheated on Adam Sandler. What do you mean she cheated on Adam Sandler? Yeah, in Spanglish. Oh yeah. Oh. I never liked her since that movie. Yep. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Look oh, at her. Well, I talk about thin lips, by the way. Don't talk about her like that. She's got, I mean, her lips are just non existent. She's beautiful. She is not she, beautiful. She used to be sexy. She was married to David Duchovny, right? I, I, I haven't done research yet on her. Usually that's the first thing I do. If, I'm, if I think somebody's hot, I run right to the internet. I need to know everything. I like all those shows that are like CIA or 
president. CIA, C, what'd you say? CIA type, you know, the president. CSI, you mean? No, about, you know, she used to oh, be in about the CIA. The CIA. <laughs> okay. Yes, <laughs> fucking, I don't know. I mean, I try, I, I'm on the third episode of Cobra or whatever, and. Mm. Hey. Uh, Scruffy Bone said Austin took the stickers and insulated the van with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Mush was supposed to get those stickers and send them out, but poor Mush uh, got uh, sidetracked. I mean, the stickers got sidetracked for Mush. We'll get them to you. Mm -hmm. Very sure. We got to get those to you. What kind of stickers do you have? Ah, they just show stickers. Oh, let's see if I have any here. Um, I got them somewhere. I just found my bumper stickers I used to like give out. Oh, I, you know when Get Her Done so was, I thought I was going to come up with a slogan. And I used to say on stage, I used to say on stage, I know the struggle. And I used to do that after a lot of, I know the struggle. And I had bumper stickers made. I thought I was going to be like the next fucking Get wow. Her Done. And um, Bobby, Bobby, what, was your, what was your thing? Mine was uh, Bob the Rooster Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't, it didn't work on a bumper sticker. This, this is my work. <laughs> it works. So my, <laughs> my boss fucking annoys me. He had, he had a bumper sticker a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has bumpers. Hey, Rufus, Nobody... did people put your bumper sticker on their fence? No. <laughs> <laughs> on their windmill? Nobody... They put it on their whatever the fuck, weather vane. Bob the Rooster. It should have been Bob ate the rooster. <laughs> <laughs> the rooster. Oh, you Bodak. <laughs> that was when I first started comedy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do my joke, and then it, if you know, it, right at the end, I'd be like, yeah, bang. And then she went like this. Go, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You didn't do that after every joke. I, I have a video of it. We watched the video. It's fucking great. <laughs> Yeah, I have a video of it. It's fucking horrible. Yeah, what was where are we going, guy? Where are we going? Where are we going? What that's that? uh, that's Billy the Bass Man. Oh yeah, yeah. That's Billy the Bass Man. I <laughs> do. I might actually that's come up with favorite. an album. I might do an album as Billy the Bass Man. Then you can go on tour and open for Dusty Slay. Yeah, I'll, oh, where I'll, are we going? Hey, I guarantee I'll become bigger than him if I do that character. Wait, I, I hear that guy on the radio. He's funny, Dusty Slay. Yeah, yeah. I like this. He's like, I hear him on serious. That guy's funny. Is he from down south? No, he's faking it. He's from uh, he's, he's from Chicago. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That hat comes with the hair and the beard. <laughs> oh, maybe maybe it's not him then. It's yes, David, I, David Cross in disguise. He actually, he actually, I met him in uh, Tempe. I was so mad. Uh, they just put him in there. Like, you know, he's, I guess he's a headliner. He's, they were trying to get him over. And a lot of times they'll just stick, you know, he's with the uh, improv management. So they'll just, you know, put him in on a show. They don't care. Just put him in on a show. And uh, I felt bad for him because, you know, his, his ego is I'm a headliner, but he's coming in on my show and featuring. And I'm walking in like, Kind of like, what the fuck? You know, who do they got? And then I look, and it's this redneck dude, and his suitcase was the size of me with merch. Uh, and uh, I'm like, I walk in, the fucking dressing room's packed with people. I go to sit down somewhere. There's nowhere to sit. And then I look over, and there's this, this fucking redneck country dude with a dumb hat and a saying on the hat and a big suitcase. And he's like, you don't, you don't mind it. I'm going to sell some merch. You don't mind? I'm like, of course you are. <laughs> I go, I go, of course, you already you're already doing it. You lugged a suitcase up two flights of stairs. So apparently <laughs> you knew you were gonna sell the fucking merch. What and what would I, you say? Will you sell a comic no? Fuck yeah. What do you say? I go, no, you're not selling fucking merch. Sell it. But but Bobby, your own show. I'm only getting fifty dollars a night and I need this money. Yeah, become yeah. better. That's my advice. I'm trying to become better. better. I'm trying to make right, it. You, you, you be the comic. Go ahead. Me and Voss will be the headliners. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey guys, first of all, I just want to say thank you. I'm fans of both of you guys. Uh, go, get me go, go get me coffee. Okay, I will. But hey, before I get it, I just want to ask you a question, Mr. Voss and Mr. Kelly. Yeah. Um, I got some t-shirts. Are you guys okay if I sell it? I'll set up your stuff too, but is it okay if I sell my stuff after the show? No. You're not even on the show. I had you bumped. 
no, I know, but they said if I come an extra hour early that I could I can do entertainment in yeah, the hallway. I'm not like Bobby. I, I I don't care what I say. What I really say to the person is I don't care, but they have to see me first. So you could put your table, you know, they when they walk out, I have to my merch is first. And then right. if they want to buy yours, go ahead. That's right. what I, I do you make them sell your merch? I no. don't Ralphie did that. I don't care as long I don't care if I'm not selling anything. Yeah. But here's the thing is I'll come out. I've done that a bunch of times. Yeah, you can sell. And then I'll come out and there'll be there's usually a spot where the headliner they want you to stand. And I'll walk out and they'll be there with a table full of shit. Yeah. Glad handing people saying thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. they came to see them. Yeah. No, thanks for coming. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. Great show. Not even acknowledging my existence when I come out. <laughs> and it's like, you understand, middle acts, everybody feels fucking bad for the, I was a middle act. I, what do you think? What you think I was never a fucking middle act? And I shut my mouth and I just became better than the fucking headliner. So Mush. I was in that position. Mush, did anybody ever tell you you can't do anything? Yeah, uh, no one ever told me I couldn't do anything. <laughs> like, I don't know if you sell shit or whatever, but anybody ever dick to you? Um, no, I never worked with anyone who was a dick myself. Uh, people would. I, I've been lucky. I've been lucky. I feel like you want to tell us about somebody, but you're afraid. Yeah. Listen, I'm, no, I'm trying to remember who I worked with that was uh, that I worked with was a dick, but I never really came across the the closest I got. I saw Bruce Bruce be a dick to people, but he was never a dick to me. Bruce Bruce. Yeah. If you made Bruce, and then I'm Bruce sick of Voss. Voss is fucking pretending to be the nice guy in this situation. No. Oh no, I'm he an fuck asshole. Fuck him. I'm an asshole. Fuck him. I got a we had a guy day. selling fucking uh uh candy candy bars with it with him on it before show <laughs> and condoms and i got a fucking earful every night this fucking guy i had to live through that hell so fuck yeah. you you lying sack of shit <laughs> no it, it, here's the thing i'm not listen first of all half these mill acts when i watch them i already hate them i hate the audience for that you know i'll prejudge the audience because the audience likes some of the garbage they're listening to and not all of them some of them are great okay uh but the thing is I, I'm already known as a dick anyhow amongst <laughs> all these middle acts around the country. Like, oh, Voss is an asshole. You know, because I always torture him verbally. So I'm can't. not. I'm known as a nice guy. Any middle act that has mush. How many times did I take you out to fucking lunch, breakfast, dinner, and fucking treats? Once, but it yep. felt like 50 times. <laughs> Every mush. time, man. Every I mean, time. Apart from the electrocuting you in the mall that one time, I treated you great. <laughs> Bobby. Even that was a great story. Nine out of ten times, I tip the middle. I give them extra money. I what? Yeah. I always go, like 50 bucks sometimes. Wow. You know, That's pretty generous. Yeah. Nine out of ten times. And, and sometimes I even do the MC like a 20 or whatever. To go go out and have some beers or whatever. But I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm I tip the wait staff. I tip the wait staff. I'll give them 20 bucks or whatever each. Uh, e e even if they're selling fucking, yeah. they sold a million fucking tickets. Okay. Now here's the deal. If I don't sell well, or if it's a bad club or I don't yeah. work that place, and they'll go, I'm not tipping anybody. You can go fuck yourselves. Yeah. We're well, all on I, our own. But if I, I, always... if I, if I make my money, I usually tip the wait staff. I, now I would never tip a comic. I'll take you to lunch. I'll give you advice. I'll spend some time with you. But I don't make the type of money. I'm not making twenty grand a fucking night yeah, to tip a fucking. Who, may, who makes more on a weekend? First, you were first, first of all, makes I more on a tip, what? I on a always, weekend. Wait, wait, hold on. I always tip the cook nine at, most of the time because they're always making me something special. You're an idiot. You don't tip the cook. No, I don't tip the fucking. Cook. He doesn't eat at the fucking comedy club either. Yeah, some clubs clubs have good food. Some of them have. Yeah, but I don't. Candy. I'm not. T look, if I get a salad or a fucking whatever, I'm not. I, I'll, I, you know what I'll say to the cook? Good job. That was awesome. And they're like, thanks. The cook's making a lot of money, Voss. Well, I, I, I always the waitress that sold. I, they they only just, had to wait on fucking three tables because of you. Listen, needs the twenty bucks. It's the thing is for me. I tip well. And I'm going to tip no matter what, but I tip well when I sell a lot of CDs because that's extra money. So if I'm doing 50 CDs on a weekend, that's an extra 500 bucks. 
So of course I'll throw the middle something. I'm gonna no matter what I make throw to cook something. You know, uh, New Year's Eve I do the wait staff. You know, a hundred bucks on New Year's Eve because you know, there, was, there was no one there. They're not making any money. You, you tipped a hundred dollars each wait staff. No, 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 no for everybody. So I, I, I tip the wait staff all the time because yeah. they're the ones yeah. working, and especially if they're good and they're quiet and they're not being walking up in the front and being loud and keeping everybody. I'll tip the bouncers too if they're. I always tip the bouncers, and I always you don't tip ahead. a cook. All yeah, right, I, back to my uncomfortable question: Which one of you makes more on a weekend, like a Thursday? Bobby, Bob, Bobby, Bobby, uh, Bobby sells more tickets than me, so he, I'm sure he's making more money than me. Uh, why is that? Do you think Bobby's funnier than you? No, no, he sold. Oh, Bobby, no, because on a one to ten scale, we're both tens. Easily. Why does he make? Why does he sell more tickets? Well, he's ten times better marketer than me. He has a better agent. He works better clubs uh, than I do. You know, so I went into a lot of clubs that he does not. Well, you know, and I was to way too much money. Fuck, please don't fall victim to this question. I'm not falling it's, victim. You, I'm you, saying you're Alta so is a fucking vampire. No, he just got, he I is, just compliment he, you. Mike, Mike should. This is what Mike fucked up in his life. This is where Mike took a wrong fucking turn. Well, he became a morning radio right. guy instead of a therapist. Right. If he if he could have went and been a therapist, he would have saved lives. Dude, I make more money than most therapists. Fuck that shit. And then you have to care if you're a therapist. I don't hey, care. You know what? When the audience leaves Bobby's show or my show, they fucking leave seeing a great show, the bottom line. Yeah, but one of you guys first, leaves happy and rich, and the other one's like, why ain't I getting no, more money? No, well, first rich. Of all, I, I'm not a, yeah, rich. You mean, his name is Rich. Compared to the other one. No, no, I, I, you know, he, I do well. I'm, I'm happy with where I, before COVID, obviously. Right, now, right. I'm COVID. talking about a good on a regular touring. You know, you know, back in the day, you know, I went to clubs. I was getting a lot of money, and then when, when the audiences were, you know, I was still getting good money, and it's all numbers. It's all they don't so care. Who made so how much money? So give me the order, Rich, not Bobby, because you probably know. Tell me on Creeps for Kids. Start with who made the most to who made the least. We may all make the same on Creeps for Kids. It was uh, Favorite Nation. That's ridiculous. Why? Yeah, that was, I may, I messed up on that. I was headlining. <laughs> I put the whole thing together. It was my idea. I should have made $1,000 more than anybody else, and I fucked up. Yeah, but you know what? When I was on tour <laughs> after last comic with Corey and Dave, I had a headline every show, everyone. I, yeah, but you didn't come up with last comic yeah, standing. No, but I came up with our tour. It was the first year. Was I the first, came up with the tour. Listen. It was the first year of Last no. Comic Standing. So uh, it was Rich, my I, idea. Of course, I'm, I'm kidding. Oh. Relax. Before you, I'm not trying to send you down the tunnel. No. Uh, but I, paid, I split it one third with everybody. We got paid uh, favorite nations. Yes. You know, and we, listen, our show, the Crease with Kids show, was not, there was not a show where everybody didn't kill. There wasn't one show. Everybody killed on every show. You know, even Florida. Bobby had to follow it. Look, if I, I had to, me and Bobby Mike, had the toughest job, but I had to go out there cold, you know. So why did you get the same money as Florentine if Florentine just had to go out there and be Florentine for a couple of minutes? Because it was, it, 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 when the Beatles, when the Beatles or the Rolling Stones go on tour, didn't they split the money evenly? No. Yeah, it was a band. They all went on together. They needed each other. They all played at the same time. They all worked in, in conjunction with each other you guys are separate shows and then you're lining up for your next gig based on this one to the to that audience you do need a better agent rich you need a better agent and a better manager well you're talking to my agent right now mm -hmm. <laughs> hey mike how you doing no, I, don't make, me, uh... I don't make enough money to have it like bobby's great with his agent because they've been friends for so fucking long Can you stop yeah. making excuses from why no, I'm right. I'm Why don't you let Matt? I've done nothing Matt. to compliment you. I've done nothing. Yeah, to but you know, you're you're basing my popularity and my money on friendships. Well, no, I and, I, uh, and, and I I'm I know how to do social media good. You do, and you have you you you're a great marketer. What this is bullshit. Mean? You have a teenage daughter. You should be letting her do your fucking marketing for you. She doesn't. What on TikTok? What am Whatever. I Get be ahead of the game, man. My social my marketer is. Uh, Mike, right here, uh, uh, Mushy Push. Mike, and, and he does a good job. Oh, yeah. Here's the problem. Psych. <laughs> what? He's mushed your whole career. 
<laughs> Raina, come here. Can you do? I, this kid really gets my my kid gets on my nerves. Yeah. Because <laughs> you said thirteen. You don't like being around kids anymore. She's driving me nuts. So come on. She just my flesh. I she knows I don't want her to play with it and just grabbed it off the table and ran. Oh, away. that's such an old man. Thing. My flashlight. <laughs> my flashlight. I meant flesh. I meant flashlight. <laughs> what do you think? There's gonna be a blackout. What are you walking around with a flashlight for? <laughs> Whatever. It's just a principle. She goes to my room. I come and drawers will be open. I have it, the first like I iPod, you know, like the one that used to turn. I have that, the white one? Yeah, yeah the right. white one. So I have that. It was in my uh, Oscar gift bag. It was one of the gifts. And I just keep it in my room. I don't use it. It's just an old... And this dummy, all of a sudden, I come out and I see her walking around listening to her going, your music stinks. <laughs> what were you listening to? What's on? I know what's on there. Uh, I don't know. Probably like, you know, the Yes, the Who... Cretans, you know, temptation supreme. Oh, please don't get he'll start singing. Don't get him. <laughs> no, singing. I don't what do you like? Let's sing something together. Mike, what do you like? Don't get him singing, please. Like Billy Joel. What do you like? I, no, because no, no. you think I was singing the weight the other day on Norton's show. That that was pretty good. Okay, give me a little. I, I, I don't have the lyrics in front of me. Huh. Get get your phone and uh get your phone. I need to see lyrics on something. No. Come on, don't say hell no. Get your phone. Hell no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my bass player going. What are you a trump in your asshole? <laughs> He's gotta get his bass player. <laughs> uh, 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 sing CCR, Cleveland Clearwater Revival. Oh, yeah, they're, okay. yeah. they're good. Yeah. Fogarty, center field. You know what is it? Love the, out of all the great CCR songs, you go to fucking Fogarty Center Field. You didn't like that album? That was pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's a good album, but I mean, like, whatever. <laughs> Do you remember the band Renaissance? No. Oh, really? Look at my. Will not like them. I know I won't. You will. They, they were. Do you like Yes? Yeah. Do you like you like Nectar? I love faggy old seventies music. Oh, I think like, I love Al Stewart. 70s. You're ah. the cat. Uh, I Cat love Stevens. anything Cat good. Stevens. Dan Fogelberg, I love all that faggy stuff. See that? I know, like, I, uh, Cat Stevens was great. Cat Stevens was great. I want to put the seat heat on my car and just drive around by myself listening to fucking Fogelberg sad songs. And Elton John, his fucking stuff was so good. It was Elton John's great. And, and Bowie, fucking Bowie was the best, man. Yeah. You know, I love all those songs that you hear every once in a while. I go, oh, fuck, what is that song? Tiny. My lover in the grocery store. <laughs> I, used to, I love those shit. I used to play Tiny Dancer and Leave On to my older daughters. They, they love that. It. Tiny Dancer is a great song. Leave On is also a great song that yeah. to this day, and I have Googled it and I have done research on it. I have no fucking idea what that song means. <laughs> so I mean, Leah, Leave On is the most confusing fucking nonsensical song you'll ever listen to. Well, he sells cartoon balloons in town. He, so you don't even know the whole story. He sells balloons. What's the lyrics, Mike. Bring up the lyrics, Mush. What was, what was the song called again? Leave on L E V L E A V O N. Right? Leave on L E V L E V O N. L E V O N. Leave on by Elton John. Yeah. Leave on sells soft rock balloons in town. But do you know any lyrics? What's that? Do you know any lyrics to anything? Yeah. Why? Sing something. Uh. Let me. Uh, I'll do Cat Stevens, Father and Son. Sure, sure. And Cat Stevens did two voices in Father and Son. Oh, you are you going to do two of the he, two voices? Yeah. Will you do the Father and the Son? Yes. Oh. I'll do the the Father comes first. It's not time to make a change. Just sit down, take it slowly. You're still young. That's your fault. There's so much you have to learn. Find a girl. Settle down. If you want, you can marry. Look at me. I am old, but I'm happy. How can I try to explain? When I do, he turns away again. <laughs> what the fuck is going you're, on? You're doing all right on the old man, but you know what? You can't grasp the kid. You can't get the it, son. Yeah, the kid. Oh, you had to swallow same, before you did the kid. Same old story. If I were right. I'd agree. 
but it's them they know not me now there's a way and i know that i have to go i know i have to go wow that's, that's pretty that's good that's huh that's all right you ready you ready for this yeah lou just said siri unplugged herself <laughs> <laughs> there we go take a look at you Hi, Sam. Oh. There we go. Can you hear it? Yeah. Turn it up, though. Beautiful. Listen to the words of this shit. Name this kid fucking Jesus. So he named his or friend. That's probably yes. Yeah. Or or um, my best song. What's the other one? He's got um. So how the with a fucked up long. All right. Is my mic not working? Is that what you say? What do you say? Nothing. You guys are just into your own shit. You're not even listening. Border song is good too. Holy Moses <sighs> have been the one, uh, from Almost Famous, not Tiny Dancer, the other one. <sighs> I fuck, I forgot. From Almost Famous. Not Tiny Dancer, it's the other one that's in there. Uh, Mona Lisa and Mad Hatters. It's a yeah. fucking good song, too. Mona. I know none of these songs. You, you don't know, know any John songs? No. All Bobby knows is fucking uh, Thin Lizzy. No, I don't I never, even know Thin Lizzy. I, I, I'm not a... Yeah, the boys are back in town, guys. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with Mike? We just what tapped in the mic. Mind? <laughs> I know what Bobby knows. You ready, Bobby? You ready? Yeah, Shot Dad. In the heart and you're, and you're too, too lame. lame. Darling, you give love a bad name. <laughs> bon Jovi. I love Bon Jovi. Put on some Dan Fogelberg and fucking. Who's fucking Fear. Dan Fogelberg? Oh my god, just the most. You, guys are, you have old tastes. Yeah, I, Dan Fogelberg. What didn't he write? Uh, pay part. Uh, you pay and get, gave it to Carly Simon. Paid Paradise, and you put up a parking lot. No, that's uh, Joni Mitchell. Oh, <laughs> but uh, she just Lou, Lou said Thin Lippy Bonnie's cover band. <laughs> 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 Fucking Lou is good. You have Lou open for you. <laughs> I love Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Love Billy Joel. Hey. Billy Joel's great. Yeah. Listen Billy Joel's great. Dan Fo who is Look at that. that. Look at that fucking hair. He's like, man, I'm just here to write songs. But what songs did he sing? I don't I I he probably had one or two hits, right? No, he had a shit ton of hits. Dan Fogelberg, look at that in the hair. He probably had girls just lined up to suck his dick, and he was like, hey, baby, you don't have to do that. It's cool. <laughs> what, what, what's wrong? Just hang out, talk about problems. <laughs> Fucking Dan. Dan Fogelberg had a lot of songs. You want me to look him up? I'll look him up. How, how, but you say he has a lot of songs. You don't know him. Yeah, I do. I just, I. it's one of those, it's like those songs that you hear, and you go, holy shit, yeah. Oh, I know that song. I, I guarantee yeah. that's not any of them. Okay, I, you're going to hear it, and you're going to be like, you know what? My bad. The best, yeah. and like I said on radio before, have you seen the video, and I said this when I did uh, with with Chip and, and Bobby, uh, they did that song by the band The Weight, but they yeah. did it from around the world, different countries. That was pretty cool. Did you see that? Wasn't yeah. that fucking cool? Yeah. I saw the band and Bob Dylan together. I saw them in concert. I what, don't even what? know who headlined. Do you want to hear that Bob Dylan? Dylan? Bob Dylan and the band, they played together. I wouldn't buy that ticket. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That in the seventies, that was the hottest concert. I was, get. I was, I was fucking not even a. I was three in the seventies. I was born in nineteen seventy. Rich, you were. Yes, I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, listen, you know this song, Bobby. I know you know this song. A uh, fish stinks. By the way, fish does stink. Except no, for nobody likes fish crumb bum. You know Ooh. this song, Bob? What? Uh, 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 he looks like a magician. Yes. <laughs> he does. <laughs> How come I can't hear it? Because he has a uh, No, I'll make it louder. 
heart was known to none. Puff the Magic Dragon? Oh, I love that. That's uh, Puff the Magic Dragon. Is Puff the that. Magic Dragon lived by the sea. He once had a friend in you, and now he lives by Galilee. No, Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea. He frolicked Rich. in the autumn mist in a land called Galilee. Holly. Lit Holly. Little Jackie you Fingers or whatever. <laughs> Little Jackie, Jackie Fingers is in Goodfellas. <laughs> you don't know this one? I can't hear it. They can't hear it. Oh, I don't know what I I'm it's on as loud as it goes. Oh, you gotta click uh share sound when you share the you window. Hit share sound, you fucking caboose. I don't, I don't know how to do it. Jesus. All I'm saying is you guys <laughs> when, it, when you share the screen, it says share the sound and say yes. Oh, it does? Yeah, it's 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 yeah. literally idiot proof. Yeah, it's, it's it's only what you've been doing for your whole life. Look, Sarah, <laughs> no, no, no. Sarah's right on, uh, Little River Band. He calls his child Jesus. Jesus wants to go to Venus. Venus leaves Levon far behind. Levon's son is, is wants to run away from his Still, father and home. No one tells me who Alvin Tostick is. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking in the middle of the thing. He's like, Alvin Tostic had a son today. And you're like, you just said this motherfucker's name was Levon, and this one was Jesus. Who was Alvin Tostic? You know, who that's a think, pretty specific hey, name. Hey, hey, Mike, who do you think got more girls? Dan Fogelberg or Ro Roger Daltrey back in the day? Roger Daltrey, two at a time. Dan Fogelberg was like, nah, baby, it's cool. Just, yeah. Roger, a, not, Roger Daltrey with that long curly hair was stunning. Yeah, spinning that fucking microphone. Hell yeah. It was. I saw that. I had third row for the Who when they did Quadrophenia. Oh, dude, you are old. Yeah, you guys are old. <laughs> yeah, my uncle. The used answer to, to the Alvin Tostigs. Yeah. Sorry, Bobby. Go ahead. No, oh, go the ahead, answer to the Alvin. It, it's a non-answer. It's uh, it's right. Jesus's grandfather in reference to the song. There's no answer to it. There's no context to it. It's ridiculous. Elton's fucking, and you can't even blame Elton John because it's the other guy that wrote the song. They wrote, like, they, wrote like, good by, they wrote Goodbye Yellow Brick Road in one or two nights. Yeah, that's a they great wrote, song. They wrote the whole album in two nights. This whole conversation makes me sick. Melissa, I would love to be on a fucking get high with Melissa and sing some of Mike's me. not even listening to me tonight. Makes me feel fine. Say I, hear you. Nothing. I hear you. No, you don't. No, you you're, don't. Not, you're not going to ruin my fucking my, my vibe. You and Voss bonding over classic rock. Is making me sick to my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking old yeah. boots. I what are your thoughts on Kenny Loggins? Yeah. Like a hit maker. Kenny Loggins, <laughs> when it was Lo Loggins and Messina, they had a, a couple good hits. How know? about Messina? That guy's like, what the fuck, man? We had yeah. something. Same with James Taylor. Fire and Rain is such oh. a great song. Every James Taylor song is good. You know, Walking my little look child. down the palm, Jesus, you got to help me make a stand. I don't know the rest. I'm bringing an acoustic guitar tomorrow. We're jamming on this show. <laughs> you don't like Good. you don't like Danger Zone. Ba -ba -ba -bow -bow. Yeah, dude, all <laughs> those movie songs are fucking dumb compared to uh, you know Kenny Loggins' slow songs. With, with what I, what name one slow song he wrote? Uh, Loggins and Messina song. You can't even think of it. No, I'm not. I'm not a fucking catalog. I'm not Dick Clark. I don't just you rattle. You like a fucking catalog. Oh. You're just sitting there rattling off names, telling yeah. me how much I should like shit, and you don't even know the fucking songs. You know why you close minded? That's your problem. You close minded. Yeah. I'm not fucking <laughs> closed minded. You, are. you should be. <laughs> I listen. I I on YouTube. Don't you have now. a hockey game to go to? Your I, mama I mean, don't dance, and your dad don't rock and roll. That's, that's not. Good. That that's not Kenny Loggins. <laughs> Tell me, <it's laughs> and Messina. Tell me it's what Poison. It? It's, it's Loggins and Messina. And, Messina, and then Poison remade it in the 90s. I like Poison's version better. Ugh, you stop <laughs> fighting, you old fucking... Ugh, you, Who you got? That. Fucking what? Doc Severinsen in your asshole? I, uh, I, I, watched, I, I watched on YouTube today uh, Temptations Mike. and Supremes. Fucking David Ruffin was so fucking cool and good. You can, let me tell you something. Like we argued with this before, Bobby. He was talking about female singers. You don't come close to Diana Ross or Whitney Houston when it comes to female singers. He's you right. About that. You're a gal or whoever you like. Don't even come close to the voice. Fucking Celine Dion doesn't come close to any of those. American. She's American. 
American. All right, so fuck, dude, you're crazy. You're fucking crazy. And they're American singers, by the way. Who? Not Celine Dion. Wait, wait. All right, so you're. What are you saying? What did we argue about? And my mush. You, you got to go to the doctors. When you laugh, you shouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go see somebody, dude. It's getting gross and disturbing, and I'm fucking worried about you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what, you what did we argue about? I don't I, understand what you're saying. No, I remember one time on the podcast you were saying who the best female singers were. You you yeah, Kelly Clarkson. Clarkson is a great singer. Yes. You said Kelly Clarkson is better than Diana Ross. I did not say that. I shared the audio. <laughs> now we can hear it. <laughs> I love this song. Oh, sorry, you're fucking. What's wrong with you? You think that I don't feel love, but what I feel for you is real love. In others' eyes, I see reflected. I hurt school, rejected love. Oh. Hey, I like this song. <laughs> That's, That's a good shit. Show. That's good That's shit. Mike has a bunch of them all over the fucking country. <laughs> <laughs> I got hockey to go to. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boss. Listen, man. Oh, I'm so glad. I've never, I've never been happy this show to end. Bobby, tell <laughs> us one faggy song that you like before we go. Make it a I good don't one. Like any faggy songs? Not man. true. You know you do. You know you sing some alone in the shed when nobody's around. I don't know. I um. Nope. Um, I don't. I like any faggy songs, man. All right, I, mean, maybe, I, like, one, I like one song. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's one song. There's two songs. I guess two. What All was right. your wedding song? I like. I like. There's an octopus song that I like. The Beatles one. No. Octopus's Garden. That's the, still the Beatles. <laughs> Yeah. No, let me see if I can find it real quick. Mike, what was, your, what was your wedding songs, you guys? Do you remember? Uh, I, I, I know got, mine. What? Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead. Mine was uh, Edda James at last. I didn't know everybody used that for the song. My my mother in law suggested to me, and I was like, "Yeah, let's use something old school." Nobody ever done that before, and I found out everybody does that. I did uh, the Righteous Brothers. You lost that love and feeling. <laughs> No. <laughs> I did. no, what uh our song was the one you I never like. inflate your lips anymore. <laughs> I, I, the, what was the one I like we, we used I love you more today than yesterday. Oh, I like that song. Not as much as tomorrow. I got it, Bob. No, that's not it. That's a kid's song. <laughs> You sure, this seems like one you'd like. That's not it. Um, and I, oh, yes. I like um, my wedding song was "I Love You Just the Way You Are" by Billy Joel. Oh, that's a oh. great song. That's a good wedding song. You were singing that to her, though. What? You picked that <laughs> song, right? What do you mean? She wasn't. It was to both of us. You fucking twat. <laughs> you know a song I like by Sonny and Cher. I got you, babe. That's a good song. That is a good song. Um, See, we're on the same page. Yeah, the octopus song. Um, I can't. Where's Mike right now? Here he is. He came back. Sorry, I hit the wrong. Oh, do I hate fucking. And I like William Shatner's song, um, "The Beautiful People." No, what is that? Is that it? Um, the William Shatner song. The William Shatner song. Oh, there's a great William Shatner. That's Marilyn song. Manson. Um, you're thinking of. No, William Shatner. <laughs> William Fuck Shatner. Will YouTube stop asking me to join their horse shit, by the way? How about how about the guy from Starsky and Hutch, David Soul? Don't give up on us, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's some fucking common people. Right common people, yes. The common monster. people is a great song. By by Captain Kirk, you're saying? Dude, Common People by Captain Kirk is fucking great. You never heard it? No. I'll bring it up. I feel like you're my, pulling my, like, pull, I swear to God, pull that up. How about the monkeys? Wake up, sleepy Jean. That was a good song. Daydream believer. No, I can't hear me to a... fuck. Me and Voss are music brothers. Yeah, you guys are really. It's just annoying that you guys love <laughs> the fucking same music. I hate that you guys love this music. I wish you were in. I wish you were in our our music group. 
You got it? Uh, Is this an open with a trumpet solo? Because I think I just heard a trumpet solo. <laughs> what? The, dude, what's wrong with your dry asshole? <laughs> what, what did you eat? A bugle? Uh, yeah, dude. Are you, are you just eating sand and beans? It's static. I can't hear you, but I think you're talking about me. Uh, Is it playing? Share the audio. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm sorry. It won't start. Why? Because it doesn't want to poison our I try to When I host a stream yard and try to play a YouTube video, it won't do both. I forget there. it. Don't. Can you shut? Can, I, can we go out on top? Can we go out on top? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Let's get, let's, I don't want that to be the last thing that people None of us are show. top in this room, but go ahead. Momosh, <laughs> 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 don't die. <laughs> go ahead. I'm trying. What is this? Oh, God. Uh, I like Christopher Cross. I guess it would be my gay stuff. Christopher Cross? Yeah. Fucking great. All right. Listen, everybody. Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Make sure you join. All you members of Ladybugs, thanks for being a part of this. This is just... Just ride like the wind. We need a sailboat to enjoy this. Mish, can you unblock Voss's face, please? I guess. Listen. Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Anything, anything this or on the Staying Alive soundtrack is fucking solid. And I don't mean, I don't mean the first one. I mean the second one, Staying Alive. Such a long way to go. Make it to the border. Are you, is this is this Mush's song? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather hear David Cross sing. <laughs> that's, the second, that's the second David Cross joke you've had, by the way. No, I didn't use the first one. One was mine, and the other one was my music buddy, Rich Voss. Oh, right. Then there you yes. go. Uh, all right. Well, like Voss's paintings, the music is old on this show today. Uh, thank God that we're probably going to get flagged from YouTube from using all this shit. So, well, this will be only on the Patreon version. That's going to have to be muted on the YouTube version. I'm coming up. Go. I just booked my flight. I'm coming up, and on Friday night, I'm going out with Melissa and Lou, and we're just going to listen to the monkeys and fucking Yacht Rock. The whole <laughs> yes. Scrubby Bones called this a side queer qu quartet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, listen. Uh, here we go. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and all that on the uh, Copter and Kelly YouTube page, and also share it with your friends and uh, uh, make sure you join us and follow us on all the social media, Calter and Kelly. Uh, I want to thank Rich Voss. Rich Voss will be Saturday night at Soul Joe's in Royersford, Pennsylvania, uh, Saturday night only. Uh, and then I'll be there on the 23rd at Soul Joe's. So get your fucking tickets now. But go see Voss this weekend and uh, buy his album. Make sure you get Bonnie, his wife's, Album of the year. Bird calls. That's bird calls. And in two weeks, I'll be at the stretch factory. Outdoors in a tent, heated well. Heated well. And Vinny Brown will be doing 45 in front of him. I went there and the other night. Atel was working. And he had a bunch. But I went on. It was so much fun because we went on together. Me, Atel, Ian, uh, Finance at the end of the show. And it's just so much fun going up there. I tell was so fucking quick, man. He just, his mind, just so quick. It was so much fun. So it's warm. Go to the stress factory in two weeks. And tomorrow my doctor calls. Dun, da, da. What is he going to say? There's a horn in your asshole? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been gassy yeah. all day. Fucking wind rush hours over here. Your ass. Oh. What's that? Nothing. We both went for it. <laughs> We did the same crying? joke with different words. <laughs> we did the same joke at the same time. Um, all right. Well, listen, Voss, uh, I'll, I'll give you a plug again because you ruined your plug. Oh, sure. uh, you'll be at Roy Roysford. What is it? I don't know. Soul Roysford. Soul Joel's. Hey, Not where are you going to be? Excuse me? Oh, boy. Oh. I I'll be here on Saturday night. Is doing my mic football. not working tonight? I mean, Bobby, did you watch what? that movie I told you to watch about the jazz singer with uh? No, uh, I didn't. Viola uh, Davis and uh, Chaswick 
Bosman. No, I'm too caught up in this Dogs of Berlin. I can't stop watching Chadwick it. Chadwick Bosman. What's his name? Bosman. Chadwick Bosman. His, did you see the movie, Mike? Where? No. It's fucking amazing. He's what? he's gonna win an Oscar. What is it? It's about an old an old uh, jazz singer. And Viola Davis is amazing. They're both amazing. It's on I love Viola Davis. I'll watch it. If it's not the best movie I've seen all year, it, then fuck you. Uh, you watch that, and you I'll watch that. You go watch Troop Zero. Mike Mike Calta and Rich Foss watch Troop Zero. I'm gonna watch a movie with Jimmy. No, yeah. you you told me to watch a movie that I couldn't find anywhere that you said it was so good. What was it? And you said it was like violent, like an old, like a a short, a Rambo type movie with a new guy, an action movie. Oh, uh, boss level. Yeah, it's nowhere to be found. Boss level is fucking great, dude. How do you not make boss level? <laughs> <laughs> it's the lowest level. <laughs> boss to boss. Um, Is it Ma and, Rainey's Black Bottom? Yeah, it's fucking good. And of course, uh, <laughs> anything else? Uh, Calta, Mike Calta every morning uh, on the Mike Calta show. Mike, take us out. From right here in this room. Right. That magical, mystical, fucking sexy voice he has. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you tomorrow night. It is Thursday night. We'll be closing the show. We're going uh, tomorrow is Thursday, so we're going to go at 7 o'clock tomorrow. Who's your guest o'clock. tomorrow? Tomorrow, we welcome back to the show the great Gary Goldman. Oh, he's so fucking good. He's I just so made that up. I don't really have it. Subject Sweet. to change. Oh. <laughs> okay. Seven o'clock tomorrow, guys. Or Brendan Sagalow. One of those two will probably be on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you went from fucking filet mignon to spam. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sagalo. He's a good guy. I like. Will you stop. Will you, I like that whole make a joke. You trash somebody. You got to fuck. I, go back and stick up for him because you know you're close to death. I like that whole crew. I like him. I like uh, yeah. what's his name and the other guy. <laughs> Feeny. <laughs> I like Feeny and I like uh, Mike Cannon. Cannon. Mike Cannon. Th- those three out of the new crew of people. I like them. Mike Cannon. I like them. Yeah, I do. What about Greg Stone? I don't know him. I, he's like, not. I he's not in that group, though. Yeah, yeah, but he's, he's the shim for the Three Stooges. What's no, that? Greg Stone and Anthony. You, you've never had Anthony. We got to get Greg and Anthony on this show. I worked with Anthony. He's funny. He's a cool Anthony's guy. funny. Greg's both of them together, Mike. Good luck. We'll get him on this show. Maybe I love Friday Greg. night. I don't know. Huh? Anthony. I, I love Greg. Anthony's on the road this week. What? Anthony's on the road this week, so he wouldn't be oh, available. I'm sorry. That's me. Mike's other. That's his other podcast that he likes better than this show. Why do you <laughs> yell like an old dude? We, 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 lost him to the, we lost him to the hyenas. We, then we lost him to Chip. And then we got him back. And now we lost him to the, uh, the uh, what's it called again, Mush? Star Wars I, Queers. I, I also work on the Red Dude cast, but that's not, you've not lost me to that show. And you never lost me to Chip. Chip Ooh. lost me to you. But we did lose you to the hyenas. Let's just be honest. I, I mean, hyenas started before this show, but I am very happy to be part of this show and not that show. Who are yeah, the he hyenas? Goes he goes in the hyenas. Who are the hyenas? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Giannis Papas and, and Wide Lips. <laughs> I hate him. He's great. Nothing infuriated me more than the show and you two bonding over music. Listen, you're still my number one best friend, but you, you definitely need an education in faggy songs. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you an iPod felt, and I'm gonna load it with faggy songs. I hate it. I fucking hate your you're music. Gonna, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be like, I seen fire and I seen rain, seen sunny days that I thought would never end. It would change your life. See you tomorrow.